I was always interested in horses as a kid. There's just something really, really captivating about them. Um, they were bigger than me. They just represented something that like was not tangible to me as a child. Like, I couldn't really put my finger on it. Um, I started riding when I was five years old, and I rode for a handful of years up until about 13. Got a little too expensive and had to take a break. And then my senior year of high school, it was like kind of my graduation present, got to start riding again. And when I went to college, I didn't want to stop. So <laughs> it's kind of been a continuous thing since then. One of the things when I first came to Florida Southern is I wanted to be able to continue riding. Um, they didn't have an equestrian team, but they said, I mean, if you find people that are interested, you can start one. I met Sophie and Paige my freshman year. We all were in the same hall together, ironically enough, and all loved horses. So we all decided to collaborate and try and get the team started. We uh, looked up some local barns and we came to English Oaks first. <coughs> Fell in love with the atmosphere, fell in love with like Shannon's perspective on training and how she cared for her horses and it asked her if she was interested in hosting a team and she was and things kind of uh, lifted off from there. I competed a little bit at home before coming to college and I did some local shows through my barn at home and one of my first shows that I ended up placing really well in that qualified me for like a higher up show was actually with a horse that sent me to the hospital like six weeks prior. <laughs> and I was really nervous, but you know, I didn't give up with this horse. He was a bit of a brat, but like I saw a lot of potential in him. Despite our accent that we had, I felt like we clicked pretty well. And it was a really nerve wracking moment walking into the show ring with him, but something clicked between us. There was just a lot of symmetry and everything flowed so nicely and never placed so well in my life. It was a really beautiful moment. It was like, oh, this is why I love doing what I do to like get this partnership and get that teamwork and the outcome that comes from it. With horseback riding, like you know, some people pick it up faster than others. I know with me personally, like physical fitness has a big impact on how I ride. Uh, especially with like cardiovascular exercise because it is quite the workout. You're using multiple muscle groups and like you know it gets pretty exhausting. Um, so I find that like with me like training definitely helps. A lot of running, like leg workouts, core workouts, everything that'll help me uh, work with an animal like of this size <laughs> helps a lot. And like as a team uh, we do like lake runs and we're going to be starting to do workouts with um, the athletic coaches soon to help keep us in top shape for competing. There are so many aspects to being a good rider, in my opinion. One of the biggest things is horsemanship and just being able to work with your horse, read your horse, understand your horse. Um, you know, you want to be able to not work against them and kind of form a partnership with them. And that's always one of the harder parts, in my opinion. And then on top of that, there's also a lot of technical things. So aside from like your relationship with the animal, you have your positioning, like your posture, your strength, and moving the horse over, and there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. It takes some time. Um, even when Paige and I first met Junior here, we did not click right away. Um, he is pretty green. He's better. He's better now. But when we first got him, he did not want to work. He wanted no part in work. So every time we got on him, it was an argument. Um, he didn't want to do anything, right, Junior? Little lazy boy. <laughs> But over time, like our relationship built as he realized that we care about him and like, you know, always working with him and being respectful of his feelings and sometimes he's respectful of ours. <laughs> um, a partnership really starts to form and while I wouldn't say like off the bat, like, yeah, we were a great fit, but I wouldn't trade him for the world. <laughs> so I'm a bio major and I plan on sticking in the biomedical research field. I'm about to graduate in the semester, which is really sad, but um, I'm gonna be doing a research contract somewhere up and down the East Coast, and I, I just pray that wherever I end up, I'll be able to continue riding, because I know it's gonna be an aspect in my life no matter what. And hopefully I won't have to put it down for too long, but I plan on keeping it in my life as long as I can. <laughs>